Thanks to the guys at Nemic for making this video possible. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here to do a Batman. Hello. And today we're going to teach you how to put the base plates on the Project Icarus Tesla coil. The same concept we use for this works for a million other applications and we figured it'd be a fun thing to share. So to start with, we've got the base that we spent the past week building. We've already managed to scratch up the paint, very proud of that. And you've got the base plate, which is a result of a very fun day yesterday in the machine shop. We had the brilliant idea of, hey, we have to do all these holes, this would be great, we'll do this on a sheet router, because we've got our, our big, beautiful sheet router. The problem is we didn't have the perfect setup to do it, and in drilling them, the, uh, the chips would climb up the drill bit, and this puts a unbalanced weight on a high RPM drill bit. The drill bit itself was great, but the setup we were using for it could have been better because in getting the swarf of the drill bit, if you leave it there, it puts the drill bit out of balance, which makes the drill bit walk over a little bit to the side, and that makes the hole bigger than the hole should be, and not necessarily round anymore. So we had to stop the machine after every hole and clean the, the swarf off the drill bit. There were like maybe a dozen holes on here where we got to do two at a time, but pretty much it was all just one at a time, and it dramatically increased the amount of time it took to do it. Still better than by hand. Oh, it's way better to do it by hand. And by doing it on a CNC, they're all accurately positioned and all that, which is cool. But it could have been better. This is a recurring problem you'll see throughout the lab because of what we do here. If we worked in a factory where we were making 100,000 of these, we would have time to really optimize the process and we could, we could really, really, really dial it in. A lot of things that we do here, because almost everything we do is prototypical fabrication and design, which means we're only building one, maybe a handful of something. Like, for those, we only need to make two. So we didn't have the time to really optimize the process, because it would take more time to optimize the process than it would, to do, than it would take to do it in a less efficient manner. And this sucks. <laughs> so, Batman and I spent hours yesterday going, go! Stop! Clear it off. Go! And we did this over and over and over, like all afternoon. But it's done now, it's done. It was worth it. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount that on here. Now for reference, this is a 38 inch diameter base plate. It has eight rows, eight rows of holes, um, plus four rows for the double holes that bolt it down. And a normal Tesla coil, you wouldn't have this many holes in it. Ours do because we use these for research and development, so we need to be able to have a wide variety of adjustability. So, ah, you're gonna be handing me stuff? Yep. I'll do the drill and tap mountain mojo. Can I actually tap? 
plates for tech and metal. Right? Yeah, we're, we're the hole on the plate is a clearance hole for a uh, three eighths inch bolt. And what we're doing is drilling and tapping the metal below that to accept the bolts. But we're just passing right through the holes on the plate. The only thing in this entire process, the only thing I'm doing that actually touches the plate really is uh, when I do the center punch. And you know, hand it off to you and you can blow it up. See if you can plug it in. I need to it. Well, yeah, I'll leave it plugged in, but I'll hand it off to you so that the noise isn't up here. It's more of a science, and it's a 
very well refined science. These guys have been doing this for a long time. And that's the process. Center punched, drilled, tapped. And by doing this on the plate, now I've got two in so it can't move around so I can really just go to town. But by doing this on the plate, I know that all my stuff's going to line up perfectly. chips and everything. You want to really blow that up. So an air gun's essential for this. And still, in doing this, there's going to be, between the plate and the, the steel bar down there, there's going to be some schmoop. So when you take this off, there, there'll be some stuff to clean up. But really, for what we're doing at this stage, it's not that big a deal, though. We're not going to worry about it. Now, you'll notice as we did this, I did this with the platform in place and the bolts, like doing bolts one at a time. It takes more time, it's not the most efficient way to do it, but in the end, because in doing it this way, every bolt's going to go exactly where I want it to, every bolt's going to fit, and I don't have to spend any time fighting things. I don't have to, oh, I'm gonna have to drill this oversized to get a bolt fit because it moved a little bit. I don't have to fight any of that. This way is better. I'm doing it in situation, I'm doing it one at a time, and you start with one here on the outside, and then go all the way to the opposite side. Because with the first one in, everything can still move around. You get another one in over here, and now you're pretty much locked in. So then you can go through and do them one at a time. The trade-off to doing this is, I gotta be down on the floor doing it, I can't do it on a bench, and I have to uh, deal with any schmoo, like there's gonna be a little bit of stuff up under the, the arms when I'm done. There's gonna be a little bit of oil in there, a little tap lube, um, and probably some chips in it. But, it doesn't matter for this application. They're not electrically relevant because everything out here is grounded anyway, so it doesn't matter. And it's not a problem for us. So that's why I did it the way that I did before 300 people comment saying, oh, it's easier right now. For this, this is the best way to do it. So that's what we got in this. Anything you want to add? What's pretty easy. What's a little bit amongst friends? <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Batman. And as always, we'll see you next time.